Silicon Valley has been in the headlines all week. My next guest is Silicon Valley venture capitalist Alyssa Silberg. She has written a new book about her journey. It's called Unemployable, How I Hired Myself. And she's here to tell us all about it. Welcome to Bay Area Focus, Alyssa. Thank you. Extremely excited to be joining you. So a lot of people are dealing with layoffs right now, feeling a little hopeless because there aren't a lot of jobs for them to jump to right now in this climate. Uh, what might your book offer to them? Well, I know how many of, many of them feel. We've all been dealing with it. And each person has a superpower. And the idea that you can take that superpower and you can leverage the power of the internet to build something extraordinary that the rest of us can participate in is whether it's customers, investors, uh, employees, um, that's what we can each do this. There's each of us in the world can build a company of a substantial amount of value and there's no better time to building it than now. And tell us a little bit about your personal journey, which is pretty much what this book is about. Uh, people can take some examples from, but uh, growing up in poverty in South Africa. Uh, tell us a little bit about that. Um, well, someone else also grew up in Pretoria, South Africa, and that was Elon Musk. And, you know, he's always been a huge role model to me in terms of what's possible building a company. But for me, I grew up in poverty and I never had many options. I had to survive. My family had to survive. I started supporting my family from a very early age. I bought my first company when I was five years old because <laughs> I wanted a pair of pink roller skates and I couldn't afford them. And I had to figure out a plan to get them. And that got me on this journey. And I fell in love with founding companies from five years old. And the only thing I wanted, I don't know how I came up with it, but I wanted to live in Silicon Valley. And it was this journey. That's what kept me going. This dream of coming to this place to be around people just like me to be able to build, to be able to create, to be able to innovate. Um, that was, um, you know, this thing that just drew me forward through extreme amounts of poverty. You know, I can go through stories where my family never had food. We never had running water. We never had electricity. And it was entrepreneurship that I always figured out a way to keep us going. And that's what brought me to the home of entrepreneurship and to the home of startups. Welcome. We're certainly glad you're here. Um, can you tell us more about, was there a turning point? Was there a moment where you were like, yes, I'm all in on this? Absolutely. Um, I was 15 years old and we got carjacked in South Africa. It was a Saturday night and I got shot. And um, the weirdest part was not the shooting, ironically. It was the fact that everyone around me thought it was completely normal to get shot, to get attacked. Um, to just live in this extremely violent environment where at any point in time um, you could die. Like the neighbors behind us, they were also a family, young family. The father got shot dead um, at a similar time. And there were these stories. And when it happened to us, I remember screaming my head off that night um, and just saying, I have to get out of here. I have to get out of here. And I was just begging my mother. I was like, I have to leave. And that was the moment where it was like, I'm going all in. Like, I will do whatever it takes. I don't care. I want to leave and I want to go and live in a place where I can be safe. And every day that I, I'm here in the U.S., I just became a permanent resident uh, six months ago. Officially. Oh, congratulations. Thank you. I, I feel like the luckiest person alive. And the fact that I can, as a woman, walk down the street at night and feel safe. Um, I cannot tell you what it means. I cannot tell you the gratitude I feel to be able to live in a country like this where you can be safe and your future is secure. It's such a gift. And that's something that we should all remember to be thankful for. So I appreciate your perspective on that. Um, as far as what you referred to at the beginning of the conversation, uh, other people who are finding themselves unemployed, find a gift and find a way to share it with the world. How do you even start? I think each of us, as much as we, we often deny it, even in our worst circumstances, we know there's that one thing that we can do better than everyone else. And each of us, as I say, we, we do know it. You know it, you know inside yourself. And if you can figure out that thing and you can be like, who'll pay me for it? And how do I leverage the fact that there are now over 3 billion people online? You don't need 3 billion customers. We all know about like the thousand customer uh, rule where you basically need a thousand people to support you in the world. It's not that difficult. You get one customer, you get two customers, you can get 10 customers. And you just build your way up. And there won't be people that see that value you can contribute. And they'll be happy to pay for it because you delight in them. And you're solving a problem for them better than anyone else can. And it's actually so simple to just get started. 
it's a, it's a matter of just having that courage and saying, whatever my circumstances are right now, whatever's happened, yeah, I may have been laid off. Things may seem extremely frightening right now, but we all can look at history and we can look at the companies that were built during these times. The best companies are built during the most difficult times. Now is the time to say, thank you. I'm ready. I'm going to build something amazing. And I can look back at this time and say, wow, 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 that I did this. Um, Alyssa, you are an inspiration. Thanks so much for joining us today. Again, the book is called Unemployable, How I Hired Myself by Alyssa Silberg. And it's available on Amazon and at independent bookstores nationwide.